anterior tibial artery. The anterior tibial artery is the main artery of the anterior compartment of the leg. What about the origin course as well as supply? The origin of the anterior tibial artery is the smaller terminal branch of the popliteal artery which is given at the lower border of the popliteus muscle. And if we talk about its course, it begins in the back of the leg that is at the lower border of the popliteus. It enters the anterior compartment of the leg by passing forwards between the two heads of tibialis posterior through an opening in the upper part of the interosseous membrane and in the anterior compartment it runs vertically downwards to the point midway between medial as well as lateral malleoli where it enters the foot where after entering in the foot area it changes its name to the dorsalis pedis artery which ends near the web between the big as well as second toes. What about the relations of the anterior tibial artery? As you can see here, in the upper one third of the leg, it lies between the tibialis anterior as well as extensor digitorum longus muscles. But in the middle one third of the leg, it lies between the tibialis anterior as well as extensor hallucis longus and in the lower one third of the leg it lies between extensor hallucis longus as well as extensor digitorum longus. Now it is crossed from lateral to the medial side by the tendon of extensor hallucis longus. As a result the deep peroneal nerve lies lateral to it in its upper one third as well as lower one third and anterior to it in its middle one third. Now let us discuss about the branches. Anterior as well as posterior tibial recurrent arteries is one of the important branches that take part in arterial anastomosis around the knee joint. Muscular branches give blood supply to the adjacent muscles. Anterior medial and anterior lateral malleolar arteries where they take part in the anastomosis around the ankle joint. And this is what is about anterior tibial artery.